Hey everybody, I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And we're Zephyrus Travels, and in this video we're going to bring you a one-year uh, bike review of our uh, rad bikes. So where are we? Hamlin Beach State Park. That's right. That's right. And this is um, just a little west of Rochester along the um, Lake Ontario Parkway, and this is Lake Ontario behind us. It's one of the Great Lakes, and it's a it's a pretty nice little park. Um, we've it's been a park that you know it's been close by to us so we've come here quite a bit throughout the years but we haven't been here in a while and it's kind of fun to come back right um, the red um, minis and we've got had them for just about a year we've taken them all over the place and really enjoy them uh-huh yeah they're a lot of fun yep and easy to ride yeah yeah they're very easy to ride and you know the, the thing that I think that we kind of uh, get out of this is yeah they're electric assist bikes but you know if you had a regular bike and you didn't ride it then you know what are you getting out of it so if you ride this, you're getting more exercise out of it than you were that other bike that was just sitting in the garage all the time. So that's right, we used to have those type of bikes <laughs> that sat in the garage all the time. <laughs> that and never sat in the garage or down in the basement. Yeah, never got ridden, and you know we get these out and ride them a lot more than we have the other bikes, and we really enjoyed them. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite thing about them? Um, the pedal assist, the electronic. Part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It helps when you're going up a hill or what else. Just when you're riding, I yeah. use it a lot. Yeah. And what do you set yours at? Two or three. Two or three? Mm hmm. Yeah. I use the two to help me get going. And uh, the three, like if we're going up a hill. Yeah. And you really don't have to shift with these at all, do you? I don't. Do no. you? I do a little bit. Like in here, I, I shifted down to a lower gear because I wanted um, to not go as fast. Mm -hmm. So to slow the bike down a little bit, I went to a lower gear so I could pedal at the same uh, cadence but not have the bike move as fast. Right. Um, but that's about it. I do sometimes notice that, you know, if you hit a steep enough hill, you either got to add a lot more assist or downshift a little bit to get it going up. But mm -hmm. from that perspective, I do think they're, you know, works pretty good. Right, and we enjoy them. Yeah, so what's your least favorite thing about the bikes? Um, the model we have is a, a little too tall for me to easily get on and off. That's, I guess, my one complaint. I have to be very careful. Yeah, and I think after we got these bikes, they came out with a step-through model of this bike with a lower crossover that would have been much better for you. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we'll have to think about selling your bike and buying you one. Yeah, perhaps someday. Someday, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
but we're not going to sell it because we don't like the bike. We're just going to sell it because the other one would be better. It would be easier for me to get on and off. Yeah. Yeah. And I think one of the things that I, I really like about the bikes is they're com they're compact. They're probably not as long as a regular bike, and they fit in the back of our truck really easy. I don't have to um, do any more than just drop the seat on mine and, and fold the handlebars down on both of them, and they, they happen to be the exact same width of the back of the truck. And so they go in there very nice and ride back there very well. Right. I think the one thing that I probably don't like about them so much might be the weight. They're they're a little heavy, and it takes a little bit of get, it took you a lot of getting used to when we <laughs> started. You know, uh -huh. you fell a few times mm -hmm. on them because um, it's just it takes a little bit more to get them going um, from a standing start than a regular lighter bike. Um, and you know the weight is not because they're made out of heavy materials because they are all aluminum and, and you know they're good materials but the big tires and the uh, batteries and the, the electric motor in the rear wheel all add a little bit of weight to this bike and so you're going with a bike that probably weighs about twice the weight of what that typical bike of the size would weigh uh, these bikes weigh in the close to around 70 pounds so they are heavy mm -hmm. um, and you notice that when you go to lift them up in the bike in the truck and such um, and you also notice it quite a bit when you're getting started. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's been an issue for me. Yeah. It probably will continue, but that's okay. You haven't fallen in quite a while. You haven't fallen at all this year. I haven't fallen on this bike. Oh. When I rode that bike. Yeah, for some reason, and, and I dispute this a little bit, but she seems to think that the white bike is just the slightest bit taller than the black bike, and it made a difference. And, the black bike was supposed to be mine, and it's not. I, <laughs> I got the white one now. Right. camping here and we take a ride through the campground mm -hmm. and they have the swimming area and there was quite a few people swimming along the um, that area and there are some sand beaches and there's a lot of uh, like here there's a break wall um, area mm -hmm. yeah it's a nice park yeah we used to when we were into um, sailing Hobie cats we used to come here every year for a regatta on the lake it was a lot of fun mm -hmm. it is well worth the visit yeah. It's never down this way. <laughs> yeah. And and like typical, you know, probably most state parks during the summertime, you know, reservations are um, probably recommended, especially for the weekends. You could probably come in here on a Sunday through Thursday pretty easily and get a spot. But uh, Friday, Saturday and um, are usually pretty busy. And we rode to the campground in you know, a couple of loops. And I think I saw one campsite that wasn't occupied. Right. And this is going to be the holiday week of the 4th of July, so I imagine it is full. Right, right, so I bet you there's a lot of people here this week. Yeah, I don't know what the, the hookups are. I think it's just water and electric. Yeah, there, I doubt there's sewer. Right. There's pro and then it might not even be water. It might just be electric. I'm not sure. I didn't really notice as we rode through. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's a typical state park. You know, you're going to get the limited hookups. You're pro if you get electric, it's going to be um, either 20 amp or, or uh, 30 amp electric I doubt you'd have 50 amp anywhere here um, you might but I, didn't, I wouldn't think so mm -hmm. and all the sites have a lot of shade there's a lot of trees around yeah yeah very shady there's a little uh, campground store in there and a laundromat and a laundromat yep mm -hmm. and there are what do you call the buildings oh um, pavilions pavilions they yeah do so we have several pavilions that I assume you can rent for special events. Yep, yep. And it's $7 uh, vehicle to come in uh, to the park. If you have a Empire Pass, you can come, you can buy one of those for I think they're $80 a year. And there is actually, I, I saw this online, if you are 62 or older, um, Sunday through Thursday, you can come in for free. Really? Yeah. So. Now on Saturday? No, not on the weekends. You'd have to pay. Oh. So this is Saturday. We had to pay. Right. Or otherwise, I would have been having them you look at your driver's license. But I don't have it with me. Well, that wouldn't have worked. Right. Oh, well. But, yeah. 
They just don't believe you. You have to show. You have to show proof. Yep. Well, we hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And subscribe. And ring the little bell so that you get notifications of when we post new videos. Thanks for watching and we will... See you down the road. Bye everybody. Bye.